Welcome to Factorio. Let's start automating. My name is Nila. So this is episode 13. So number 13, except it was number 12 that brought me unluck. Well, we had um, a good trick to generate uh, free. It's the point of last time generating free pistols. Excellent, right? So if you want to just generate an infinite supply of free pistols and and 10 extra um, firearm magazines just for free, and that's your option right there. So I just uh, cleared the rest of it, did my corpse run, did all the stuff so that this episode can be focused on building stuff. We are going to go all in on the oil and let's um, let's start with that. Um, we do here, I can do Q if I hover over it, then it will automatically find a pump jack. We brought the our 11 pump jacks, which should be enough, I hope. And that one. Now, one of the worst parts about this, oh, there's one more, I thought that. The part of this is how do you hook up all of these pipes to something that makes sense? And I have not to this date found a good way to do it. So um, yeah, that's just that's just it, right? So um, we'll, we'll we'll try it. However, uh, we are going to add some. You know, this one doesn't really feel like the right thing to do anymore. I think I'll put that one here. Then I can put pipes and underground pipes and pumps and I don't know maybe some chemical plants that one and the few of those we need yeah we didn't pick those up so the way I propose to do it is you kind of make a line and then you try to get things into that line and that line could be something like half on either side and I find that to be the I'm not gonna say the easiest but the least awful way of doing it and I know there are mods to do this and there are websites to do this and all that stuff, but that's not what we do. We have to do it ourselves, self-made. Yeah, so. And it just makes it somewhat bearable. As you can see, it is not super annoying in this case. And what we have here is now all of our oil. I'm gonna use a pump to make sure that there's a nice good fat flow in it. And then I want to put it into some boxes because once we start it, we want to make sure we have this and then push it out. Good, we don't have any power at this point. So let's grab some big power poles and bring some power up here from the wrong side of, oh, we got something here. Right, at this point, I don't really care if this is following any kind of rhythm, just get it up there, get some power up here. Boom. And then from here we can start expanding out. And we have now oil. We have oil. I mean, we don't really, we have crude oil in barrels upon barrels, but any point to it? Nope, not yet. It doesn't do anything. And almost always I will forget to wire something up. So they look like they're all pumping. Good. Let's make a little wall around it. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, there. One, two, three, there. It's not gonna be much, but it'll just be trying to make it safe. If this is the one that's further out. Okay, one, two, three, there. Why those one, two, three? Mm, yeah. Oops. And let's get a radar in here if I can place it. Can I place it all the way up? There. has to be out there and let's put some turrets take some of the corners 25 in each and then make them overlap by one as we did previously maybe that's actually not enough anymore but oops I don't know if this this is not like they you must build it like this or this is about sort of finding a balance between let's build something simple and let's try to keep things defended yeah there shouldn't be attacks coming in from this side but again 
You never know. And the things that will be attacked are the things that are either military buildings uh, or causing pollution. So they'll be going for the pollution, but they'll be prioritizing when they get close. Military buildings. So that means military buildings. That means turrets and radars. But they'll be drawn to the pump jacks that generate pollution. If we look at pollution, it'll start spreading from here as well. Yeah. And we take one in the middle. Was that correct? Yes, one in the middle. And I think we take one and two. That one. All right, we got some oil. That's lovely. Uh, let's make a few, a nice little entrance for us to go in. A little door and also a little door on the other side. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Could also bring a path up there, but yeah, you know, it, it's it's pretty good. Let's uh, start bringing this back and then figure out what we're going to do with it when we get back to the base. We will just do some resupply. So another thing that is something you need to keep in mind just a bit, not a lot, just a tiny bit keep it in mind. And that's the length of pipe you are bringing in. So the longer the pipe, the lower the pressure in the pipe will be. It's as long as you need to transport. Okay. The easiest way to say this is without getting extremely technical about it is that as long as you are transporting less than a thousand per second, then you don't really have to worry about it. You can get really far with it more than a thousand. But if you want to have like Let's take the extreme. If you want 3000 in a pipe pump, then you need to have three intersections, I think, and then another pump to keep up the pressure. I usually sometimes make more pumps than I technically need. Like I would like to put one here, for example. This one keeps up the pressure. So basically it, the way it works is that it sees how many belt, how many segments are between the two pumps. So this counts as two segments, one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. And depending on how many segments there are, then that's how high the pressure can be, how much throughput can be pulled through or pushed through the pipe. And as long as you are below 1000, then it's pretty simple. Okay, this one is now down to our base and we need to go over and we need to get some stone bricks because we want to lengthen this one. We want to make sure that we get some lights. Hey, look at that. Our civilization is growing. Okay, no point in doing that until we also have the next stone bricks. Running on the belt with F pressed. Gets us some. And some other crap as well. There we go. 600. I like it. Now we have one of the things that is certainly something I have is a box of shame. That's where we put this on. All the shameful things we have in our inventory get placed there. And we need, now we need 10 of these. And do we need some of these? Yeah, we'll take some. Also some normal pipes. Let's get some of those. Hundreds, underground, you never know, you never know. Let's get a few more. There, wanted more. Also don't like the fact that I have an odd number in my inventory. This should not be an odd number. You never should have an odd number of undergrounds or odd number of underground pipes. That's just, at least back in the days, it was a cause for worry. Now it's, I don't know what happened, but somehow it, um, it got simpler. And it's less often that you run around with odd number of underground belts. Get this one. Continue expanding a bit. Oh, you thought you were going to survive, did you? There. Always want this. And at some point, we're going to start looking at this lake and go like, oh, that's not great. Right now, it's not a problem at all. So we don't need to worry about it. So now we have our oil refineries. We're going to make a few of these and I 
Do you think that's okay? Yeah, let's make it like this. Two, three, four. I want to get it too close. It's not a problem getting it further up here. Yes. So we only have one recipe and that's basic oil processing. So that's all we can do. It's extremely inefficient. Crude oil, 100 crude oil get becomes 45 petroleum gas. Not very much. We could actually at this point just go a bit all in on this and just expand it a bit further, but I don't think that's necessary. This one will consume... It's actually only consuming 20 per second. And if I look at this part, this is generating 20 per second. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Two, three, four, five. Clean up this. And I don't know where the oil goes that gets picked up, but it's gone now. No need to worry about it. And I'm gonna get this part. We can actually hover. You can see how weird it works. I'm just holding it down while holding the mouse button down. Um, and that actually does It'll place it at the correct intervals. Then we get some lights. There. And we get some pipes. Yep. And I think we need... We are starting. This is a bit of a tedium to do. But it has to be done. Oh, that's the last. And then we also do it on the outbound side. Boom, everyone's going. Let's see. On our overall power, do we see a spike here? Yes, oil refinery starts spiking. And you can see here, it increased our consumption quite dramatically, actually. Now let's make sure that we get stuff outbound. like this and at this point I like to actually do a pump just so we make absolutely sure this gets emptied and then I'm gonna put it into some here yeah, because at this point all of what we have we want it converted into petroleum there's nothing except petroleum now we're producing petroleum we can go into P we can go into fluids and then look at, at this. This was crude oil was produced and then it went up. This is where it filled up the storage. That's the production of oil. Then it probably filled up the storage here and it declined as we are working. And now we're starting to make petroleum gas and water is also produced. I mean, pumped up, which uh, is corresponding to an increase in power. Steam is also increasing here and crude oil is increasing. So we have a nice oil facility. Do you need to have 10? You can probably make do with five, but you know, I kind of like this. So now comes another big thing. That is, what are we going to do about it? And normally I would put it on the bus because um, it's just nice to be able to carry it all the way down there. However, I don't think that's my option right now because I don't have very much room on this bus. I could put it into this useless location here. And let's see, it would be petroleum, it would be sulfuric acid, it would be low dense, uh, lubricant, and it would be light oil. Yeah, that's four. Okay, those are the four things. Let's do that. Let's put it on the bus. That's just a thing I do. Yeah. And... Four, four, and that's going to be the useless location, and I'll put it into that location. So now we have petroleum on the bus, ready to go. The irony is we're actually going to take it out here. So I'm going to leave this space open because we want to make it when we get some more advanced thing. We want to make some advanced oil processing, and so we leave this space open. That's why I'm building it here, so I can leave more space. I can also get water in on the side. Should be good. We need to build the next thing. And that's uh, the next thing we want to do is now, now that we have petroleum, what are we going to do about it? Well, we're going to do some, we're going to make it into plastic and we're making it into sulfur. Those are the two things we need to make. 
because remember we're working our way towards chemical science pack so chemical science requires sulfur we'll get that last it requires advanced circuit advanced circuit comes from needs plastic and so it is plastic we need right now this is where we need our chemical plants and let's see somewhat like this height maybe let's see so chemical plants making plastic takes one coal for two plastic so it actually doesn't need much coal it means if we can get one coal belt in we can actually get two plastic belts out that's a lot that's way too much but let's get at least one plastic belt out we can probably because you can also see 20 petroleum per second for each and this one is making how much was this one? Oh, I can actually just look at the recipe this one is making 45 per five seconds so it's nine per second that means i need two of these to feed one of this right so all of these 10 can only feed cannot even feed five of the of these that's not much but you know they don't need to be running all the time and we have a buffer and you know all these things right so what i want to do is i want to say what if we get something inbound and we get something outbound wrong yeah that's gonna be our basic so we get coal in on this belt and i want to get plastic out on this belt the thing that i want i want to make one two three four five six there now we have eight i think that should be enough because if we look at eight here uh, this creates two per second so eight times two is 16 one belt can carry 15 so if i can have all of this flowing then i will have a full saturated belt and a slight surplus i like that seems really good so that's our target right now maybe i should make it the other way around doesn't matter i i uh yeah i should definitely should have made it the other way around oh i don't want to redo all of this rotate and again we get the outbound belt and i am deliberately making a distance here of two and the inbound belt of coal yes so start by getting some sulfur in here just gonna get that all the way actually not even necessary so i can take these out boom boom and go and then it's also time for us to get the cold belt because it's much easier to see what's going on when we actually have the right ingredients available so that's going to go in on this belt Okay, so now our biggest challenge will be how are we going to make sure that if I, for example, build these are out here, they will pick up the coal as it comes in. Yes, please. And then it'll put it out here. But if I do this for all of it, then you will. Let's just look at the problem as it comes in. It'll probably be easier than me trying to explain it. So if we did this. You can see here that the plastic will now only go on one side of the belt. So what I need to do is make sure that some of them put on the inside belt and some of them put on the outside belt. The way I do this is actually by allowing the top four or forcing the top four to be inserting like this. There. And then I've found out that I need just a bit extra to make sure that it tops it up here. And that's going to give us one full belt of plastic. That's really nice to get. Just like that. One full belt of plastic. Easy peasy. And now I'm going to go over here and make sulfur. Uh, basically, we need to make sure the plastic goes back on the bus as well. We don't want to sort of pick it up or put it in boxes because it isn't really used for anything. Oh, the horror. Oh, I should have done it the other way around, shouldn't I? No, maybe I shouldn't. There. Plastic. Woohoo. 
And since I have my green circuits here, then I want to make my red circuits at this location. I think I actually want to make red circuits first because I find red circuits to be a lot more enabling than sulfur. Sulfur doesn't give us anything. Red circuits gives us definitely gives us something. So, red circuits, you say. They are weird. They're very weird here. Uh, they take two plastic, two electronic circuits, so those are even, and then it takes four copper cables. That's actually two copper, but yeah, it's it's gonna be a bit weird. So that the way I'm usually building it, or the way that it, uh, I'm gonna start by building it aligned with that one. Yeah. First, we're going to build. That's not definitely not what we want to build. Two copper. Now, these copper, we want to ask ourselves how many red circuit buildings can it support these two let's pretend that all the blue ones are speed one because in my perspective of course the blue one should have been speed one instead of you have to calculate everything by 0.75 anyway um here we have this produces two copper wire every half second so four copper wire per second that's eight copper wire per second this is generating we forgot we forget the crafting speed because they all have the same crafting speed this one is every six seconds, it requires four. So if I have six of these. Then it requires four every second. Hmm. That, 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 uh, whoa. That means I can actually have 12. Hold on. 12 of these for for this. However, remember the one thing, I, I, well, you don't know that yet, but that's actually how I want to do it. I want to have copper coming in here and then have it pick up and output, pick up and output. Okay, that's not even, not even like that. Which means at this point, it can only fill up half of a belt with copper wires, which is going to be seven and a half. And this one is going to be using, this is going to be using four. And if I build one more, one, two, three, four, five, six, then right now it'll require eight, but it'll only get seven and a half. Yeah, whatever. So let's keep this one. Yeah, that means they can now request it. Let's start with the copper build here. And uh, let's get the copper in. I think that's correct. I just kind of doubt whether before I do that, I didn't. I think I'm building it too close. Because basically I want at this point, this belt to be, this belt to be a combined red and green, and then this belt to be an output. And then you can see that there isn't really a whole lot of room. So I think unfortunately I have to before I build everything. I need to build it with just a bit more space. Otherwise it just gets too close to here. So let's go something like this. That's gonna be better. I wanna make sure that I don't have... Can that even jump this far? <laughs> Maybe not even. Uh, I think I need a red underground belt for this. Can I just handcraft a few reds? Yeah, I can do it. Handcraft a few reds. All right, so this is good. This is getting a bit advanced here. Yeah. That one. We don't need to build all of this because we can we can build more once we've built some of it. Yes. Oh, boom. And then I keep building it anyway, but that's just kind of hard not to. Here. So this will be the cover. I'm gonna get copper in on this side. Let's, didn't really seem like I have much more space here, but whatever, we will, now we've decided. This is as much space as we can get, and we're gonna get the copper. We're gonna need a lot of copper. So the first two lines have been branched off, so we're gonna just branch off the next line there before we start so 
Next one. I want to make a little cool little trick that does, looks like this. Come on, work. There. So what happens is if I have green circuits coming in here and if I have plastic coming in here, they will go in and they'll be split. So these two belts will be half plastic and half. That's what I want to make right there. Here. And here. And then we have the other output here. So that should be either green and that should be plastic. And then we'll have outbound here the red circuits. Because of course we want to make things parallel. They're not actually connected. No, they are connected. Okay, let's get this one and see what happens. Yeah, this is going to be super complicated. But we'll, I, I'll try to make it as comprehensible as possible. There we go. However, we have a problem. Right, the problem is it's going to be full of junk copper, so we can actually do this little trick. There, and then if I remove the inner lane, what's on the inner lane here? Eventually. Got it? There. You can see now the the copper plates get stuck here, but the copper wires move on. Brilliant. It works. And I need to do this one. I don't need this one anymore because now I have built it. Just wanted to make sure that I could design it before I sort of squeezed it in and saw that I had room for it. This one's not working either. This one has to be a red belt because it has to jump. Yeah, and then we can see this is not good enough. Input, output, output, input, output, output. The reason why I have one input, two outputs is because it takes one copper plate and it gets two copper wires. Copy, paste, you can also copy these settings. Oops, there. The first one will always be junk, but that's the one. All right, let's uh, try to move further down here. You know, I, I, I just built all of them, right? Because once you get started, it's just so much easier to just build all of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dirt, 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 dirt. That one. And get the power poles. And if we build this, then you're going to like, that's a ton of red circuits. Actually, it's not because red circuits, this is something you'll find out that red circuits are to just taking forever to build. So it's only actually four per second. It's less. It's actually three per second. This entire thing is only making three per second. It's just disgusting. How did I get those numbers quickly? Well, if there are six of them, okay, that was totally not necessary. Um, press out again, repair. Control Z. So if there, when there are six of them, this is one per minute. So there's 12, there's 24, that's four per minute. But then we have to remember the crafting speed. And that means it's going to be even less. So all of this is only making three red circuits per second. And we, um, I'll, I'll reveal to you, we need more than that. Okay, and let's start firing up this part. We still haven't done the other parts, but they are pretty simple. Done. Let's get the green circuits and the cop uh, plastic inbound. So we get the green here. This will also start potentially green, uh, potentially 
constraining our greens and I um, don't want to go back for just a few. I know that I know that there must be lots of you who take offense to the fact that I'm balancing this close to each other, but it's just the way I do it. The other one. I think we need to handcraft a few more. If I don't bother going back. Yeah. Plastic is coming in. Green is coming in. Look at the how it goes through this weird thing here. And we have you going out. And then more? I don't have any more of the other belts just yet. Uh, the question we have now is how are we going to where are we going to make the red circuit go? I could make the red circuits up here. Now in this baby base here, we this is not going to be a very big base, so we're going to make it. And we're going to make it right there. There. That's going to be our reds. And we just need a lot of long-handed inserters. So the idea is they pick up here and they output on the middle. Oops. The inserters have to be furthest out. Or the outsiders, as I like to call them. Yeah. Look at that. Look at all the tons and tons of red circuits we just have in our base now. I am going to take this one and make a little box for red circuits. Because we will need red circuits here and there. The first thing we absolutely need red circuits for is going back on the bus at locations. Such as this. Going back on the bus. Yeah, so that it goes into those locations. And we have one more. That will be like the, the massive consumption of... Uh, oh, sorry. oh, that's actually not necessary because that's going to be the last one there. So this will now consume a lot of our puny red circuits, but it's working. We have red circuits. That's a massive thing. Look at all the stuff we achieved in this episode. We hooked up our oil deposit. Let's uh, forget the car. Hooked it up, made it safe, got it back, built a large production plant. That is everything that so far it cannot consume faster than uh, the pulling out of crude oil is faster than the refining. That's okay. The refining is working it's filling up this box this is being filled up it's going in giving us a full belt of plastic and on top of that and i don't even feel i rushed it in this episode but it's a bit long episode but the fact that we also met red circuits i think that's pretty damn uh, impressive in one episode so all the way from digging up oil bringing it back refining making it into plastic making it into green to red circuits and look at that red circuits that's a big milestone in uh in our forward progress. And now the next thing we want to go for is actually go for? No, not go for. Uh, the next one we want to go for is the sulfur so we can make our blue signs. And then we can un start the signs up again and then we can get the whole base up and running and we can build lots of new cool things. But that's going to be in the next couple of episodes. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying it. Be sure to hit the like button, the subscribe, you know the drill. Let me know in the comment section if you want some more things or if you have this underground that you think is turned the wrong way or you know, all that good stuff and good ideas about going into more or less details about things. 
Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and stay effective.